Scorpios, this is all about you guys. I love you guys. Thank you for all your support always. And yes, what you see is really what you think it is. I am dying my hair. Now, why am I appearing to you this way? It's got to do with the channeled message, Scorpio. So let me get my spiel out first. Welcome to Born Without Boundaries. This, Scorpio, is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. This is for Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, or anywhere that Scorpio affects your natal chart. You can take these energies for this week, the next seven days, and apply it to where Scorpio influences your natal chart. And if you know how to do that stuff, it'll work really well, be very accurate in terms of which house it's affecting, which relationships it's, it's affecting, etc., etc. So, this is me, right? Why, why, why am I appearing to you, Scorpios, with my hair just dyed? Garnier, baby, Garnier. Because I'm driving in the car and I know that I'm gonna do your reading. And I know that I'm going to do my hair and I think it has to happen at the same time because it goes with the message of simply this. If somebody can't accept me in my becoming, then they can't be with me when I've accomplished. Do you know what I'm saying? Like that's the energy for this week. But it goes deeper than just on the outside because remember, as above, so below, as within, so without. And so it has to do with primarily Scorpios with you accepting you while you're becoming this in between these in between stages while things are hard, while things are difficult. And I've talked to you guys about this before and I want to say it to you again. Those things like, well, I've been broken so many times or I've, you know, I have this problem, this problem and this problem. And I, listen, I love that you know that about yourself. But this is what I'm saying. Do not second guess yourselves. Even if you've been through hell, even if you look in the mirror and you're scarred all over, it's not the scars that define you, it's how you survive them that define you. And that redefines you because as those scars heal over, you become somebody new. And your journey through this life is constant death and rebirth transformation through pain into exaltation. And so I need to say this to you. This is your channeled message for today, Scorpio, and the rest of this week. If you cannot love me and look in the mirror, look in the mirror when you say this, if you cannot love me during my becoming, then you are not worth my arrival. My becoming is my accepting the fact that yeah, I get angry. Yeah, I get upset. Those things don't define me. They're pieces of me. If I'm broken into pieces and I look on the ground, I say, I don't say, I'm a mess. Look at me. I'm broken into all these pieces. I say, how amazing. Look, there's a piece of me. There's a piece of me. There's a piece of me. And here I am, piece by piece, coming back together. It's about self-acceptance. And externally, what that means is, once you've accepted yourself and you apply that to yourself, there's a sense of not settling or looking for people who either want to keep you broken or want to reform you in the image of their choice. It's your lead. You get to construct who you are and the people in your life get to trust you. Let's start your reading. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, or any planet, any, any planet. Plus, I wanted to share the reveal with you guys. Yay! <laughs> it's going to be, I'll, I have to wash this out over it. So over in Vimeo, you'll see it if you'll see it if you see the, if you see the Vimeo video. And of course, you'll see it tomorrow too. It's not a big deal. <laughs> but come on, this is awesome. Um, at, least I, at least I'm excited about it. <laughs> I hope you guys are too. Um, Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Scorpio, sun, moon, rising for the week ahead, 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 Scorpio, 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 energy, week ahead, sun, moon, rising. Remember, this is your full oracle card spread. 
Of course, I will flip the camera around. If you are on platforms that allow for commercials, there's gonna be one here, but I won't let it interrupt the message. And the extended link is below for the full tarot card reading and your romance reading. <laughs> I gotta have my, my Vanna White moment, girl. You know. Mm -hmm. Scorpio, sun, moon, rising, Scorpio. 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 Sun, moon, rising. Crowning energies. Magic works through you and see the big picture, both in reverse. So this is not about, so this week is not about the big picture, it's about the details. And it's not about um, you being responsible, it's about somebody else being responsible, 100%. There's something in the details that they're, somebody else is responsible for, yes. And it's about accepting that they're responsible for it and not you. And that means you take that self-blame and you take that self-hate and you take that sense of I've ruined everything or it's all on me and it's not. All kinds of relationships are two-way streets, including the relationships that are any, any relationships. It's not just relationships of love or romance. No, it's all relationships. Relationships are two-way streets. So there is a sense that a lot of the burden you've put on yourself and you've stayed sort of in the trenches, sort of drowning yourself over and over again. It's me, it's me, it's me, it's my fault. I'm broken, I'm broken, I'm broken. You're not. Something has to come from outside. Something has to come from underneath. Something has to come from something other than you. And you have to insist upon it. There's a knowledge and an acknowledgement. And I hope that we are at least closer to it by the end of this reading that it's not all on you. It has to be on the other side, but understand also that you have a right to ask for what you need. You have a right to say out loud, I need something coming from the other side. I'm not alone in this. Why do I feel alone in this? And to not, a sense of holding on, waiting for things to turn around and change, waiting for things to think that they're going to become what you thought they were going to become because at first, at first it looked like it was going to become something different. It was going to be something so much more. And you've waited and you've waited and it has not changed and it has not turned around. And so my question to you is, and I challenge you only because you can take it and I know you can do this. Why are you still there? If it hasn't turned around, why are you still there? I'm here to tell you this week, Bottom line, Scorpio, you are enough. Everything you've done is enough. All the efforts you've made is enough. And this week, enough is enough. And I feel this week you have the strength and you have the power and you have the fortitude deep down inside of yourself to turn around and say, where's the other side of things? I have done enough. And now, this is what I expect from you. Right now, as far as the cards go, I'm not gonna tell you to get up and walk away, but I am gonna tell you to get up and stand up and say, acknowledge first looking in the mirror, you are enough, you have done enough. You are enough, you have done enough. And then turn around and look outward and say, where's the other side? Where's the other side? I'm not accusing, I'm not barking, I'm not nagging, but I am expecting, where's the other side? And if you can't see that other side coming up, coming back, or changes being made, the answer is simple. I am enough. I've done enough. This is enough. And be willing to walk away. Surrender now. As we go, this is my Sagittarius card, or one of them. As we go into the Sagittarius season, there is an essence of like a moth to a flame. Have you been attracted to somebody like a moth to a flame? Have they been something so bright and so burning and so tempting that you could not resist them, but every single time you go close, you get burned? Well then bottom line, 
enough is enough. Today is the week that you say, no more getting burnt. Where's the other side? If all you can do is provide light for me, I'm not going to fly close enough to get burned anymore. I'm going to take your light and I'm going to keep it at a distance where I can be safe. I need to start setting boundaries for myself that are healthy for me instead of going all in and getting burned every single time. And as you approach Sagittarius season, you are strengthened by Jupiter. You are strengthened by the ability to see clearly and be able to not fear that losing the other person or losing the opportunity on the other side somehow says something about you or that you haven't been enough or that you haven't done enough. You've done more than enough. You've done too much. So what is the answer? What is, what is your next step? Pull back. Don't fly into that flame. No more getting burned. Surrender now to the truth that is you, your fullness, your wholeness, and everything that you are is enough. And now if somebody, if somebody wants you bad enough, whether it be a boss, a new employer, an opportunity, an investor, a lover, they're going to have to come to you. Bottom line. Turn it around and let them be the moth to your flame. Open to infinite possibilities. You're, you're the star this week. You're shining. What did I say? Like a moth to a flame? Turn it around. Remember, the sun is a star. You're the star. Let them revolve around you and let them be drawn to you. But in order to do that, you have to pull back. You're the one that's going to shine. You're the one that's the star. Let them not... But openly, outwardly, they have to acknowledge that. This is also my Aquarius card. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Bottom line is, this is the truth card. This is like the, um, um, the star card in the tarot deck for me. So this is the truth. This is shining bright. This is illuminating all that is real and all that is true and being true to yourself. Remember, you're true to yourself first and then everybody else has to basically bow down, not bow down to like worship, but like everybody else has to acknowledge it. But if you're not true to yourself, then everybody else can keep dimming your shine. Well, this is your week to shine. Bottom line, you're the star and they're coming to you like a moth to a flame. Bring your ideas to life. This is like that spark. This isn't just like, this is, there's a lot of fire energy here. Sagittarius energy. And this is very Aries energy because it's that spark. It's the electricity. It's almost like that atomic bomb that just blows things up. And I think that there will be some shocking news that comes through. News that sort of like overwhelms them more than overwhelms you. Because maybe you're the deliverer of this shocking news. It will shock them. It will shock them when you turn around and grab yourself up and say, this week, no, no longer. No longer. I'm alive, right? This is the, the, like that Frankenstein Frankensteinian uh, mentality of, I'm alive. I'm alive. I am life. I am the creator. This is this is what I'm making. Of, in other words, you're creating your own life, Scorpio. 100% of you has to be in this at all times. You have to be on your own side. And this is you dictating what your future is going to be like. Bring your ideas to life. And make sure that they're acknowledged. Wow. Tend to the small things. You see, this is like... There's something here in the details. It's like not looking, tend to the small things. This is definitely a mentality of there has been a lot of things building, little things, tiny things building into, be, into becoming something that they started out as small things, but now they're big things. Like it started out as, oh, can you just answer this extra email for me? And now you're answering all of their emails when that's not even part of your job. It started off as, I only yell at you or swear at you when I've been drinking. I won't drink that much anymore. And now they're drinking every day or they're swearing at you and yelling at you every day or it's escalated into being physical. This is all those small things have not been tended to because you have been deprioritizing yourself and saying, well, I have to try harder. 
I have to make this right for them. I have to make this work for them. I have to make everything good. I have to do it. It has to be me. No. And you now have an infestation of those little things that have added up to an infestation, which is one big, huge mother of a bad thing. And so, Scorpio, this is the week. You're calling the exterminator. You're cleaning out the closet. Enough is enough. <clears throat> I don't make this up. It's time to let go. This is gnawing at your heart. Do you see? Do you see the little beauty? beauty? He's so cute. I, I love groundhogs. This is gnawing at your heart, Scorpio, and it's been gnawing at your heart for a long time. Why? Because it's been building for a long time. It's been building over time. I know this sounds like a bad reading, but I've honestly never felt so much power coming from you. You have, we've just come through Scorpio season, which is going underground. This is the world of dreams. Groundhog is the totem of the dream world of being able to go underneath the surface and see underneath the surface and dig out all of those things that were hidden, all the skeletons, bringing all that up to the surface. Well, guess what? Now it's on the surface. It's in a place where you can't deny it anymore and you're not, you don't even want to. It's gnawing, it's been gnawing at your heart for the point where you have a broken heart. And so now all the skeletons are laid bare and they're going to see them too. See, before Scorpio season, you were the only one that had to deal with all the bones and all the corpses. You were the one that was living in the world of the dead. You were the one tending to all the garbage that was being buried and all the stuff that was being hidden. And now it's risen to the surface. You've pushed it out of your home and said, you look at all of this. You take care of all of this. All of this, I didn't put here. I have been housing it. I have been holding it. I have been hiding it. And I'm not going to do it anymore. It's too heavy for me and I deserve better. Trust in the magic. Trust in the magic because the magic always felt like it was working against you. It's not. It's not working against you. It's working for you. And this is also a new beginning. This is also a new dawning and a new you. This is a rebirth of all of your dreams and all of the things that you've deprioritized in order to give yourself over to whatever it is around you that you, whatever it is around you that became more important than you. And this is a six, six card. What that tells me simply is you add that up to, it goes to 12 and then it goes to three, which is the Holy Trinity, which is that connection, that uh, connection between you between you and spirits and another, right? It's also a, it's also an energy of new beginnings, a start, a birth, like the Holy Trinity, the new life. Six is also the number of, in the original tarot, it's the number of the lovers in the major arcana. So this could very well be you dealing with a twin, a twin flame. I don't like to use that term so much, but soulmate, karmic partner, or a lover. Somebody who has affected you on and off all the time and hit you right in the heart chakra. And I swear to God, it almost feels like you've been enslaved by them. Somehow, some way, but I also, I'm going to say this, and it's not because I hate, I'm hating on you, it's because I want to empower you. It's also been you putting the change around yourself. Because you don't have to love them before you love you. That's, that's not required. You love you first. And I want you to know that. And I want you to feel it. And I, this week, the good message is that this week you do. And that's why this message is coming to you this week. Is that you have the soul power. You have the strength to not look at this as, I'm so ashamed. How did I let it get this far? That's not it at all. You, we, you wake up this week and you say, no more. No more. I might have been suffering this for 25 years. I might have been suffering it for 30 years. I don't have to suffer it one more day. This is the week you, you are okay with saying no more. New beginnings, new start. And this is a beautiful card for you this week. Getting your diva on. Looking them right in the eye with those eyes of ether. Feeling your strength, feeling your power, feeling that fire within. And eccentrically walking right out the door. This is me. This is who I am. Number four is that 
is the number of uh, stability, the number of reliability, the number, number of consistency, the level of security and certainty and safety. This is what you feel about yourself. Everything that you are, look, the extremes, the black and the white, you're wearing in front of everybody so everybody can see. You see my ugly, you see my truth. If you think the truth is ugly, then get out of my way. This is my ugly, this is my truth. If you can't be with me while I'm becoming, if you can't handle these extremes, if you can't handle your part in this, then it is your issue and you're going to deal with it by yourself. Spirit has a plan. So A, you're not alone at all. You're being almost driven. This is, this is the higher perspective. So this is you feeling drained and you feeling trapped and overcome by all of those small things that added up as if somehow somebody took your power away and this is you realizing it, realizing it and getting it back. Spirit has a plan. You have never walked alone, not even once. I know somewhere deep down inside of you, you've always felt this. Somewhere deep down inside, you have always felt that you weren't alone. I'm going to say reach deep down inside and trust that gut. This is the week that you should take a leap of faith. Believe in yourself. These cards, I mean, I'm just like, like what is happening? These cards are amazing. Believe in yourself. Believe in yourself when you're not perfect. Believe in yourself and let people see you becoming. Let people see you. You know, everything that goes on behind stage. Because honestly, isn't that the most miraculous part? It's not the magic up front, do you see? It's not the mask that we wear or the magic or, or the, like, what, see, the mystery. It's not, that's not where the magic is. The, that's not really where the magic is. The magic is in all the hard work and all the pulleys and all the chains and all the costume designs and pricking your finger to put all everything together. It, that's where the magic is. The magic is in the hard work. This is a Virgo card. This is an energy that sometimes you overlook or maybe is eat, not just you, but everybody in general, it's easy to overlook it because it's kind of boring. It's kind of dull, but you are seeing a beauty in it now that you've never seen before. And that's why you're seeing a beauty inside of yourself that you've never seen before. Everything that was so ugly or that you wanted to remain hidden. Why? Why would I let anything remain hidden? This is the beauty. This is the real beauty, the hard work. Believing in the hard work and believing in the validity of the hard work. Believing in all of those things that are not magic, are not bing, bam, pow, wow, big show, beautiful. That's bullshit. The beauty and the magic is in the busting your you know what every single day. And that's what I want you to, you to show people. And I want you to make people acknowledge this week. Acknowledge it. Acknowledge me. You come to me. I'm the sun. I'm the flame. You come to me now. Bear it all. The problem is for so long, you've been hiding all of the hard work and making everything look like it was magic for other people's convenience. Well, this week, you're like, pull back those curtains. This is really what's going on. I've been doing all of this the whole time. What are you doing? Are you showing up for me? Hold on, I'm going to turn the camera around to review the cards. This is a big story this week. You see? It's all, it's all messed up. It's all upside down. It's like, it's like um, magic works through you. Of course it does. But the problem is it's been working so well through you, nobody's been seeing all the hardship. That's the issue. And this could be at work. This could be in romance. It's been working so much through you. And I'm not even trying to say get in people's faces. I'm trying to say pull back the curtain. Show them what the real magic is. Show them what the real magic is. The real magic is how hot you burn and how much energy you put into everything that you do. And little by little, people have been throwing their garbage into your yard and you've been picking it up. 
so that life could be easy for them and they could be irresponsible and your yard can stay shiny as if nothing's happening. But the garbage is building up. The, rodent has, the rodents have now become an infestation, gnawing away at your heart space because you're doing so much work. Scorpio, this is when you stop. This is when you have the energy. Trust in the magic. And what is the magic that you're really trusting in? Your hard work. Trust in what the real magic is, which is having faith, having strength. And also trust that, that spirit has your back. Three plus five is three plus five is eight. That's the infinity. Last week there was breakthrough, right? This week I would say it's either break or breakthrough. This week is almost for those of you who have continued to hold on and continue to bear the brunt of wanting to make everything look like it was so easy. Like it didn't, it, it doesn't take any effort at all. But it does, it does take an effort. And that's what's so amazing. You love the hard work. And honestly, Scorpio, that might be what you love so much about this relationship is the challenges. Is that that's what inspires you because the challenges make you feel alive and make you feel like the best kind of person. Like this is the kind of relationship that you almost want to be in because the work keeps you alive. It makes you feel alive. It makes you feel so amazing. It makes you feel good. You like the production aspect of whatever you're in. You are a star that shines. I appreciate that. And that's why I'm not saying walk away. But I am saying that there's, it's come to a tipping point where people have forgotten because it wouldn't be gnawing away at your heart if people hadn't forgotten, but people had for, have forgotten all that you do. And so it's almost like you're pulling back this week. You're pulling back and saying, I think you need to remember. I'm going to go over to Vimeo, do the full tarot spread, and the romance reading. I'll see you guys there.